Hey guys, in this video I will be taking a look at Ubuntu Touch. This is the preview of the operating system and I am running it on the Google Nexus 7 as you can see here. So in this video I just want to um, quickly show you the operating system and the basics of how it works. Uh, so this is what the lock screen looks like. You basically have the time and the date at the top there which is currently incorrect. And in the middle here this is where your notifications will display. Um, that's just a sample notification, it's not actually a rule notification. And in order to unlock the device, you basically drag across from the right hand side. Uh, this is what the home screen looks like in the Ubuntu OS. At the top we have frequently used applications. In the middle we have favourite people, so all of your favourite um, contacts. Um, and clicking on them that doesn't currently do anything, this is all sample data and that's you know not finished yet the actual code that clicking on them would usually you know bring up their contact card or something like that people recently in touch that probably has your recent call history etc so that's sample data and doesn't currently do anything if you click on it we have recent music that's sample data and we have videos popular online which is once again sample data in order to open apps you can drag out from the left hand side which will basically open up the unity menu bar and you can click on an app to open it. It's pretty neat how that works. Um, you don't even have to leave the application to um, switch apps. It does, however, kind of remind me of iOS a bit, like on the iPad, how you open up the menu and view the icons. I'm not saying they copied Apple or anything. Um, and if you want to open up the actual app page, you drag all the way across and it opens up this page. At the top, we can see our current running applications followed by frequently used applications, all installed applications, and applications available for download. Clicking on the applications available for download doesn't currently do anything. Um, so that's basically the full-on app section. And to get back to the home page, you just click on that icon. And to switch between open apps, you actually swipe from the right and you are able to switch between open apps. I quite like that, that's a pretty neat feature. And if you want to close an app, I just need to get this keyboard to go away. As you can see, it's a bit buggy at the moment. To get the keyboard away, you just um, swipe down. And if you want to actually close an app altogether, you need to swipe up from the bottom. This can actually be a bit tricky. And then this um, other menu opens up, and in this menu you have a few um, specific options relating to the app, as well as the ability to close it. Um, so that's basically how you switch between apps and close them. Now let's take a look at the notifica notification menus at the top here. They work different to Android and iOS. So for example here we have a picture of a um, letter, and if I pull down over the letter, it has a number of different messages. All of these, all of this is sample data, none of this is actually real. And if I pull down over the volume icon, this actually brings up sound options. If I pull down over the Wi-Fi icon, that brings up available Wi-Fi networks. Um, the battery icon brings up, you know, battery related information. And if I do it over the clock, that brings up, you know, date and time information, calendar entries, events, etc. So the, no the notification bar in Ubuntu Touch is a bit um, unique when you compare it to Android and iOS. So I quite like that feature. I like how you switch between open applications from the side. That must be the only open application at the moment because it's not letting me switch between other applications. I'm not a big fan of the menu at the bottom at the moment, it's a bit hard to bring up. You sort of need to do a very precise flip. See, it can be a bit hard to bring up the menu from the bottom. I think they need to work on improving that. I'm currently unable to bring it up again. So that's obviously one major bug. And to close the app, I can click the X. So obviously this is just a preview of the OS to give um, you know, users and developers an idea of how it's going to work. This is in no way stable whatsoever. Um, it is not meant for people to install on their devices and use it. If you go out of your way to install this on a device, expecting to use it, you're going to be very, very disappointed. It's nowhere near finished. 
In fact, if you open up applications like um, the Music app, it's not even an application, it's really just a picture showing you what it's going to look like. You can't do anything, it's just giving you a general idea of um, what the Music app is going to look like. Though overall, um, you know, I only basically installed this because I wanted to see what it was going to look like in the future of Ubuntu as far as tablets are concerned. Um, I'm quite impressed with what I'm seeing, though I highly recommend that you do not flash this on your device unless you are willing and expecting to flash straight back to Android straight afterwards. Um, I'm personally not going to provide um, advice on flashing this OS because I don't recommend it, though there are other videos on YouTube which will show you how to do so as well as um, guides. So yeah, that's um, pretty much it for this video. Um, so yeah, um, I think this operating system is something to be excited about. Once it's finished, I will be very interested in using it. You know, they will have hopefully made some significant improvements and hopefully, um, you know, there will be a large, you know, developer base behind it. I'm not sure whether or not Android applications are going to be compatible, etc. I suspect they aren't. Um, but yeah, that is um, pretty much it for this video. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask me. I'm probably just going to flash um, stock Android back on within the next couple of days since, you know, this operating system isn't really of much use to me. But yeah, that's it for this video. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Feel free to subscribe and thanks for watching.